I saw it as an opportunity to maybe learn some different stuff and work with some different guys and really to maybe change some people's lives. But uh, it didn't work out that way. How it went out? Because my life's been changed. Most of the days it felt like that the work was the easy part. Seeing what you see and trying to deal with the fact that what you have at home is different than what is here by 110%. It was a real eye-opener. It made me more thankful for what I have at home. When you get out here and look, I mean, it's nothing like anything you've ever seen with the mountains and the terrain and stuff. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, a, it's a very arid climate, but, you know, the scenery is, you know, breathtaking. Hearing the story of, you know, how these people survived out here, and it's, it's I couldn't imagine trying to survive out here you know, with, with no technology. And, you know, that's what we're trying to bring to these people. Everything we did, everywhere we went, different, beautiful, people were amazing. You know, it was all, it was all great. The people that we have met, you know, have been so appreciative. The way that they greet us and accept us, you know, tells me that we're doing a good thing and we're doing the right thing. You taking guys from different cooperatives, bringing us on a trip together and we all come together as a group, as one unit, to complete these jobs and help these people out. It's pretty amazing to see that, along with how happy these people are with nothing. It's a whole different world down here. If the U.S. cooperatives had not agreed to do these projects, they would not get done. Because they are so rural, they're so isolated, and there's no funding left for them. So they've been the forgotten villages, really. So we're fortunate because we have cooperatives like Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware that have decided to invest resources. And they came and they brought the light to these people. The opportunity to take the skill set that we have and take that here into the world and try and help folks that uh, you know are, are definitely out here trying to help themselves. Electricity for them doesn't mean you know Xboxes and things like that. You know it's just basic necessities, things that we take for granted that we never give a second thought to. The opportunity to have running water or a refrigerator or you know anything of that nature. I have a five and a three year old right now and seeing those kids about the same age and and knowing what my kids have and seeing what these kids don't have and there's a lot of things we take for granted. It's just hard to see what little they have and and you made such a big impact on their life. You're changing the lives of their future generations with the kids because you're opening up doors with just one light bulb and one outlet. These guys are changing the lives and, and the world for a lot of these villagers. It's indescribable, the feeling that you get when you do something like this, and I'm just so proud of our guys. These guys have got a lot of heart and guts, and I tell you, they're a proud bunch of guys, and I'm really proud to be part of them as well. Yeah, I've seen the terrain they worked in, the conditions they work in, and my hat's off them for, for that, and for they've left their families to, to help out people in this foreign land that have, have so little. It was a life-changing experience and, and with that it just it brought a bond between all of us because it's such an out of comfort experience. Through all the cold nights and hard manual labor, old school labor, it definitely pays off when you see the smiles of the children and the, uh, the villagers. It's just unbelievable. Yes, we didn't have line trucks, no, we didn't have buckets, no, we didn't have rope rigs, no, but we may do, brother. We made do. We had a four-door Toyota pickup or line truck, son. We hustled and we did it. You know, we we knew we didn't have it. Hell, it still had to be done. So we freaking did it. All the men can feel good about that. You know, because you have little to nothing to work with, but yet we still did so much. What I like most about the trip, I got to work probably 15 of the best linemen in Virginia and one awesome cameraman. We didn't know each other from Adam. Uh, we've come together, we've bonded, we've all become great friends. We're hopefully going to be friends for life. Everybody's worked so hard and we've overcome a lot of obstacles. I'd travel anywhere in the world with the group that we got right here. And I, I don't really call it a group, I consider it a family. Just from the guys that we work with every day to the villagers that we hook up and the joy that it brings them. 
I made friends with a band of brothers. And now I feel that I've gained more family with the Bolivians, with the villages that we energized. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, from the bottom of my heart, I love each and every one of you. I hope I work with you again. And it's been a hell of a ride. And I enjoyed every minute of it. I'm not easily broken. I'm not easily to cry. Yeah. 15 days for me, I formed part of my life. But after 15 days sharing with you, you are part of my life now. What will us is the distance, but in every moment and in every moment, hasta mi corazón con ustedes. So the only thing that we have between us is going to be distance. Are you always going to be in my heart, close to me? Los quiero mucho. I love you so much. Each one of you, I love you. Y los recibo con mucho cariño. And this gift is, I receive it with much love, and it's very important to me. The people you're going to meet and the friends you're going to make, Jack, are going to change your life. Going to change your life because they're never going to forget us. Ever, 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 ever. It's amazing that big guys come here and pour their heart out just to help people that they don't know. It fills my heart with joy to see that there's people that care for my people. To all of you guys, all I can say is you guys are heroes. Believe it or not, you will be remembered as heroes, the people that care for the forgotten ones. And for me, you will be always heroes. So thank you for all your hard work. You guys are true heroes, that's for sure. <laughs>